As we continue the round of 16, we could have a bit of a cracker on our hands. It's Croatia, it's Spain. Two teams have yet to really show up to the tournament, but they've got their second chance now, and it's coming at you next. <laughs> That's right, folks, back once again with another five-minute preview. Looking forward to Croatia up against Spain over in Denmark. And we'll get to that in just one second. If you do, where have you been, boys? Smash your subscribe and I keep your bang up to date with all things Euro 2020 related, Blackburn Rovers related. We're going to all here, boys. Under one Ruskies, of course. Yes, Croatia. Not really been at the races. Neither of the Spanish. But, of course, they did really peak at the last round of matches in the group stages. Can they now raise their game once more and get into to the quarterfinals? We'll take a look at that in a minute. Big big shout out to the VIPs. They are the patrons. And if you're new, check out the links in the description and of course you can become another brother from another mona where am i here i am boys and girls here i bloody am kicking forward it's croatia it's spain at the parking stadium in denmark on the 28th of june it's slako dalic up against luis enrique in the dogouts who's going to come out on top with the smile on their faces uh, of course croatia qualified as group e winners uh, secured their date back on 16 november 2019 they've been at the euros five times in the past as an independent nation of course formerly part of yugoslavia and they're currently ranked 14th in the world according to fifa their resume looks like this started off with that 1-0 loss to England picked up a draw against the Czechs of course ousted Scotland quite com quite comfortably in the end 3-1 win uh, to get themselves through to the uh, knockout stages of course Croatia finished second in Group D behind England uh, ahead of the likes of the Czechs of course the resume is down there for your leisure this is a quick reminder of the 26 man squad there's probably the standout superstar standouts has maybe been uh, I don't know Gadevol at the back uh, uh, Modric as well uh, still showing he's still a massive player a massive part of this Croatia team even at his ripe old age I've gone with this lineup here. Uh, I think it's back to basics, really. I don't think there's many changes. Linkovic, uh, Junovic at the back, Vida, Lovren, Guadaval at the back, right? He's going to actually, he's actually books on Leipzig these days. Uh, Brozovic, Modric, Kovacic, very, very strong midfield right there. Perisic, Petrovic, and Vlasic up top. Lacking goals maybe at the top three, but in midfield they've got three guys that can command each, every game, every bloody game. As for the Spanish, of course, course managed by Luis Enrique, not been at the races but, of course, haven't suffered a defeat yet. Uh, Group F winners secured their date on the 15th of October 2019. Been at the Euros 10 times in the past. And they've currently ranked uh, six in the world according to FIFA. Yep, they start off with a 0-0 draw. Not impressive. Also another box standard draw against the Poles. 1-1 uh, draw. And then they wrapped up with a 5-0 demolition of Slovakia. Uh, to, to, put, to put some maybe demons to bed. And, of course, peak at the right time. Uh, because you could you could, you could come in three, with three defeats. Or, or not three defeats. Three draws and still uh, make it way to the final. But, anyway, the group looked like this. They did come in uh, at a second place. Place behind the Swed. Uh, of course, no defeats for them either. Uh, not a bad group in the end. Uh, and Slovakia made a very, very interesting with that opening day win against the Poles. A uh, quick reminder of the squad here. It is a bit of a depleted squad with the COVID. Um, I don't think they added replacements to them. Um, but of course, the standout uh, for me, uh, who's been very, very good, uh, I think um, a matey boy, Sadiba, was pretty good in the last game. So hopefully we'll get to see him. Danny Olmer's been a bit of a flop. However, he is half Croatian. So that'll make it a very, very lively if he gets some game time. A uh, quick look at the starting lineup for me. I got Unai Simon between six, Jordi Alba, Garcia, Fal Torres, and Azabacheca. Of course, he didn't start the prior to the game against Slovakia. So I'm, I'm going with a lot of the guys that did start in that. Busquets also in midfield. Again, he wasn't there prior to two games. Him being in the middle is a massive game changer as well. Pedri in the left. And of course, Koke is supporting him in midfield. Of course, the young gun there is Pedri. Moreno, Marata, and Sariba up top is your attacking trio. Uh, they played for the five times since 2006. Three wins for the Spanish, two wins for the Croatians, and zero draws. The biggest win for Croatia was a 3 2 win. The biggest win for Spain was a 6 0 win. In fact, they scored 12 goals to their six, which is around about 2.4 goals a game ratio. There's only a 1.2 uh, goals a game ratio um, heading into this badger. What about the odds for the title? Well, actually, Spain are now fifth favourites uh, behind the likes of Germany, Belgium. Uh, well, actually, they're ahead of Belgium at the moment uh, because may I don't know why they, they are. And of course, Croatia are long shots at a 66 to 1. Uh, for me, though, I'm going to go with a cheeky 2 1 win for the Spanish. I'm hoping for an absolute zinger of a game here, though, uh, because of the, 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 the midfield for Croatia up against the midfield of Spain could be a, 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 a zinger of a game, which which, of course, will have us all licking our lips in the end. Take a look at the situation in the bracket, then, shall we? Win for Spain or Croatia. We'll let them uh, probably likely to take on either... Take a look at the situation over in the bracket. Of course, a win for either of these two nations will likely set up a, a quarterfinal between the France and the Swiss. This is their path to the final. It is not very pleasant on this side of the bracket. On the other side, you would fancy your chances of maybe England, Germany or the Dutch to go very, very deep. But don't rule out the Swedes as well, who have been uh, surprisingly refreshing uh, in this summer's tournament. Be sure to get the video to smash your thumbs up, smash your subscribe, check out things down below on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, and of course, Patreon as well. What do you think? Do you think the Spanish can go the distance? Have they had their hiccup at the start of the season? What about Croatia? Are 
are they the real bloody deal? Last time around, of course, in the last major tournament, they made the final. Can they go one further this time around and win the pissing thing? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. And of course, I look forward to seeing you with a watch along. We're going to have a watch along for this one, Croatia, up against uh, Spain. And I'll see you then. Until then, give the video some love. Smash your thumbs up. Smash your subscribe. I'll see you soon. But until then, we are out.